Retro 78 Bluegrass is an up-and-coming bluegrass group in the state who delivers high-energy performances, and they're going to be featured at the annual Squealing on the Square happening in Lawrence on October the 4th. We have some of the guys in studio with us this morning to talk about that event. Good to see you guys. Good morning. Good morning. You guys have to witness all types of stuff behind the scenes, <laughs> spiders, dancing, flowers, but now we're bringing the bluegrass. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah, introduce us to the band. How, how long have you guys been together? I know this is just a sampling of the group. Yep. Yeah, so Retro 78, we got together in... Um, 2022, right near the end of it, or 2021, excuse me. And then 2022, we went, we did a band competition in Nashville called Spigma. We won it, and since then, we've been able to take off as a group. So That's it's kind of a us. big deal to win a competition in Nashville. I mean, everywhere you turn, there's, you know, <laughs> yes, musicians everywhere. everywhere. So to win yes. something, that says a lot about you. In this area, we have, a, of course, a really big bluegrass tradition. Uh -huh. So you guys are playing to lots of folks that really mm -hmm. love bluegrass. You're going to have to do a chance to do that on October the 4th in Lawrence for Squeal on the Square. Tell us about that. That's right. That's our uh, two-day barbecue festival. Uh, we have 12 barbecues, we have 60 artisan vendors, and we have six bands that will be playing through the, the night. These guys are our headliners for <laughs> Friday night. They'll be playing from 6 to 9. Awesome, and, and that's going to be a great time to bring the whole family out. Hopefully the fall temperatures will be here by then. <laughs> it's actually going to feel like fall. Ball. Yeah, and enjoy some barbecue. And it's, it's amazing what you guys have done with Downtown Lawrence on the Square. We were there for our zip trip, and we're really uh -huh. impressed with all the work that's been done there. So Thank definitely you. come there. What time are you guys taking the stage to close this out? Uh, we'll be taking the stage at 6 p.m. October 4th, Friday. Awesome. It's uh, my hometown area, so looking forward to seeing everybody come out there. So. Awesome. And dude, what's it like being in a bluegrass band? I mean, it just seems like it's always fun. Oh, yeah. When you got a banjo, it's a happy instrument. And then <laughs> get vocals blended together, you know, it's just a good time. So Yeah. yeah. And for people watching this that say, that band is good, I want to hire them for an upcoming event. All bands are for hire, especially local ones. Where how right. can they get in touch with y'all? They can get us on retro78bluegrass.com. we got our contact information on there. Uh, they can holler at us on Facebook, any social media platform, and we can uh, book that for you. Oh, yeah, awesome. for sure. <laughs> and is it free to come and listen to the music? You don't have to pay unless you're getting some barbecue or buying something from a vendor. That's right. Everything, all the entertainment's free. You can walk around, and we have a People's Choice Award on Saturday from 11 to 3, and you can try every single one of the 12 barbecues that we have <laughs> I mean, that's, that's so a lot of easy. Exactly. Stretchy. Where's some stretchy yeah, bands? Right. <laughs> and the web address right. for the uh, for the Lawrence for you to go and check out all the event details will be posted at our website, yourcarolina.tv. We're going to let you guys play for us. What are you going to play for us today? We're going to play uh, The Wait. Yes. Yeah. People have heard this one before, <laughs> oh, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Retro 78 Bluegrass. Take it away, guys.
load her right on me. Flip me a cannonball to take me on down the line. My bag is sinking low, and I do believe it's time to get back to Miss Fanny. You know she's the only one who sent me here with her regard. 